Hey and welcome. Today I'd like to share a new handmade art journal which is really easy to do and it's perfect if you want to start out with art journaling and you have no journal and you don't want to spend a lot of money. And here you can already see it's a back-to-back -back bound journal. That means you use your paper, you fold it in half and I think I used about 10 or 12 pieces and then you stick them back to back together and what I did I picked three of them and I sewed them together like I did it here and I keep a pocket on the pages so I just sewed them um, on three sides and as they get very thick I only can use three pages with my sewing machine and I made about four of these three page um, books and then I go in and stick those together with glue. So here I'm adding my last um, sewed book to the whole stack and I just used the Tombow glue stick because it worked really well and it never fall apart. Well, I never had anything that falls apart. And here I just um, adhere it to my whole book. And that gives me a super great journal, which you can open completely flat because you can, um, I will show this later, you can open it completely and also all around. I will add no cover for now. I will add the cover to this journal when all the pages are filled. And I just clipped it together to make sure that everything sticks very well. And here you can see it. And it's uh, really easy and it's perfect. You don't need that sewing machine. You can glue the pages back to back with glue. Um, but I like to have the pockets and I also like the thread that stands out. And here you can see you can lay it completely flat. And that makes it super easy to work in, of course. For this book, I used pieces from an old coloring book that I don't use. And I don't want to have the pattern showing up everywhere. I really like it that it peeked through in some areas, but here I'm just covering it with a layer of gesso before I start. I make sure that the gesso is completely dry before I go in with my acrylic paints and I just apply them with my fingers. It's a really playful way to create and I really enjoy that. The colors I'm using today is an orange and I will also use a magenta. I want to bring back the white a little more and here I use the heavy gesso again and I apply it with my spatula to create that interesting texture. You can also use a palette knife. The spatula I'm using I found on Amazon. It was a set of five and I love to use it for gel medium or for priming the pages with gesso. For a contrast and more interest I will use some turquoise 
and make some marks with a brush on my page. While the background is drying, I color in my main images. I want to use some mushrooms, so I stamped some of my textured mushroom stamps to watercolor paper. Normally I'm using the Canson XL watercolor paper for stamping as it's super smooth and not so expensive. Um, today I'm using 100% cotton watercolor paper because I had this left over and I have to say that this works much better but of course I normally don't use this as it's very expensive and I think for the art journal it's not necessary to use the most high quality stuff um, but when you want to paint watercolor and maybe want to decorate your walls with it or you want to gift it or sell it, I would always recommend using a 100% cotton paper. My acrylics are dry and I want to go on top with some texture and here I'm using a stencil from Stamplerations together with a gold texture paste from Marabou. That's what I really love about that art journal. It lays super flat and you can work easily with a stencil. I'm adding in a bit more white with my fingers.
I use a black watercolor pencil to create a loose frame all around the page. And as I don't want my mushrooms to fly on the page, I'm creating also kind of a bottom hill with that pencil. I let this dry and then I go in with some stamps to create more dimension on the page and I'm using stamps from the Craft Whimsy Wood stamp set. I really like their look and I think they are perfect for autumn. I'm using archival ink to stamp that. As always, I have linked up my blog post to the video description so you can check out some close-up images. I'm adding some black and also gold splatters using acrylic inks.
When these are dry, it's time to glue down the mushrooms. I cut them out, leaving a thin white border around each image to make it pop more from the background. I'm using glossy accents to stick the images down. I had the feeling they are popping up too much from the darker background and so I go in with a black watercolor pencil and add some more shadows. I'm using a white gel pen to give the mushrooms some white dots. And that's my finished page for today. I hope you liked that video and I hope you will try out that technique creating a journal. It's super easy. You can use any kind of paper you have on your stash and just fold the papers in half and glue them back to back or pick some of them and seal them. I hope you will see us next time. Bye.